We're going to be unboxing all of Wave 3. So today for our Beyblade show, we'll be unboxing all the Switch Strike products for Wave 3. This is Excalius X3, Serge Excalius, uh, Genius J3, Garuda G3, and Fafnir F3. So first off, just show all the boxes real quick. So um, we're going to go a little bit of a rant, and then after we're actually going to show how we got this. So first off, we found these products at a Walmart in US. And something I want to also clarify is that for we've been getting bays from Entertainment Earth since like 2013, right? And we've given a lot of attention to it. If people ask where you get it, we would say Entertainment Earth. And recently, the service for it has been really poor and like horrid. They would either delay orders, screw up the orders, or cancel the orders. And when you pre-order something, the whole purpose is that you're gonna get it before anyone else, depending on when you pre-ordered it, obviously, to get that specific copy of that product, right? Copy, game, whatever. So, we pre-ordered it very early before a lot of people, right? And we've been waiting, we were waiting, we're like, okay, when's it gonna arrive? It wasn't the, the week before, it wasn't the week after, and we find out that our order got screwed up, and what really annoys me is that it's just been so disrespectful on the entertainment earth side just for treating us like customers like <sighs> and this is one that, this wasn't just like a one-time thing right because if it was a one-time thing we wouldn't really even do the rent but it's been happening a lot of times last year with the previous waves with the previous two packs the previous singles it's like there are a lot of choices to get your products and if you want to get from Entertainment Earth, you can, but I'm just saying, like, the services that they've given to us are just horrible. Now, to actually just, uh, what we're going to do before we continue, is just show off the quick hunting of us actually finding the products. Starting off with Fafnir F3, and we actually saw this a long time ago, which we're going to show a picture of from Hascon, like all the way in September, and it's gone through some changes. You can see it's just like a standard, like, it's like just regular green, nothing special. Now, I actually have it in my hand right now, it's like transparent, there's some sparkles, looks really nice. So, just a reminder and a lesson that especially with the New York Toy Fair stuff that we're showing off, it's like, um, don't judge it right away, because more likely than not, it's gonna get corrected. So, regardless, we're gonna be showing this off, so this Fafnir F3, it's a stamina type 8, stamina combo. This is the front, you can see just drawing a Tempest Wyvron on the back, as usual. And then after it advertises Switch Strike abilities, you know, the usual, it can uh, absorb it, you know, rubber closing with the bumper, then after, it's just got Survive, which I don't know why. Left spin stamina type resistant, sure. And then after, we got our energy layer, which is Fafnir F3. I really like this green recolor. Two part four disc, which is seven cross. And then after, we got our driver, which is Survive. So, we also got the stats, one attack, eight weight, one burst, three defense, two agility, nine stamina. This is the bay, we're now going to uh, open it. So here we've got our Fafnir F3, just to compare the layers real quick. The little gotch in the metal really has like some nice metallic paint on it. The regular Fafnir F3 is just transparent for its little gotch chip. This one looks nice, I really like it. Uh, those will be a separate video. Rubber is black, green with transparency and some nice sparkles on it. Um, then after you got seven and then after cross, you know, cross is transparent, so at least that's nice. <sighs> Survive driver. Okay, don't really know what to say. Um, it doesn't really cover the parts where there would be stickers, but I think the layer looks like fine even if it didn't have stickers on it. It's okay, I guess. Um, regardless, we're now going to quickly assemble this. So I really like this. Uh, it's not really even a recolor, it's just like a new Fafnir. I really like it. 
So here it is fully assembled after the bottom. And yeah, now we're gonna move on to our next bay. Now we're moving on to our next bay, which is Genius J3. Something a little bit weird that in the app, it's called Blast Genius. I was kind of wondering like, what's the name gonna be? I thought it was just gonna be like the Blast Genius, but I guess they're going with Genius J3. This could also imply possibly that uh, maybe, I thought maybe like with Surprise and Requiem or whatever they're called, Surprise and Reborn, whatever. Probably just be Surprise and S3, I guess. I thought they maybe would just have like the regular name there to maybe avoid any confusion with the S3 or whatever, but uh, yeah. So this is probably, these bays are very accurate and that's what I like about at least the upcoming waves is that they're getting more accurate and they're covering more parts where there would be stickers. It's a defense type bay. And we'll go to the back. So the gimmick with this is that it's on the lair. That's a little shield that will raise up. Don't know if the shield can be harder or faster to raise up. It's got balance support and yeah. So the parts, we got uh, Genius J3, our forge disc, which is five Goliath. And then after our performance tip, which is guard. So uh, we already have it actually open, so we might as well just show it. So what we're going to be doing is comparing this to the actual Takaratami version. Takaratami is right here. This is the Hasbro version. We'll open it up. So I figured just since for the comparison, we'll go part by part like this. So this one's the Hasbro, this one's the Takaratami. And just flip it to the right side. So it doesn't really look like it's missing any stickers except for just this middle area, but that it covers a fair amount. That's good. The shield for the Takaratami one is like a little bit hard to get up. The Hasbro one, it's very easy for the shield to raise up. So I guess they wanted this. I don't know if it's just maybe just a bad mold for the lair or if they were just intentional. Um, the shield's very easy to raise up now, so maybe I guess better for defense battles. But uh, something to note on, so the shield right here raises up a little faster. For the parts for five and Glive, exactly accurate. Like there's no difference. Takaratami Hasbro, maybe like a little bit more of a brighter white. This one's more like pearlish. Drivers for both guard. It's just not transparent. That's it. So honestly, this is actually a, this is actually a pretty decent job for Hasbro. The only part it's really missing for the to be like 100% accurate to the Takaratami would be those little patterns in the middle. But other than that, good job. Other oh, main difference is just other than the driver being not transparent and the non-customizable god ship, the shield races up pretty quickly. But uh, yeah, so what we're going to be doing now is moving on to our next bay. So now we're moving on to our next bay, and that bay is Maximum Garuda, or so it's, it's actual name, I guess, is Garuda G3. Because again, in the app, it said Maximum Garuda, an actual product, just Garuda G3. So, I'm like, okay. Um, I really like this one. So, the big gimmick with Garuda is that it's just like this giant sort of like surface, and it's really good for defense. Like, super good. Down the side, but like, it's a really good tank. So uh, we got our lair, which is maximum gritter, Garuda G3. We've got eight flow for a two-part orange disc. Driver's Fugal, nothing really much else to say there. So now what we're gonna be doing is comparing this to the actual Takaratami version. So I'm gonna move this. So here we have both of the bays. So Hasbro, Takaratami, and yeah, let me see actually. So it's missing the stickers that go inside here for the lair and these little red things around there. But overall, Hasbro lair right here. And then after we're gonna get the Tucker Tommy lair right there. Uh, well, actually something else I'm noticing. So it's also missing the little color pattern in between. It's just more or less got those black lines like uh, painted on. So I think that's okay. A little bit less than actually what I thought was on there. Um, for the parts anyways, eight flow, pretty much the same. Maybe this one's a little bit more of a darker blue. Now that we got our driver for Fugal, only difference is that the, the Fugal for this is not transparent. But uh, you know, pretty decent. Hopefully um, with any of uh, the upcoming waves, which um, we did kind of see a preview through the New York Toy Fair. Um, covers at least mostly all of the stickers. So we're gonna get this on and assembled. So 
both the base compare Hasbro Takara Tommy. Uh, I don't know if um, it's funny too because this basically has like a slope for its teeth. So in the Hasbro one, they're all sloped. So this is like now this time it's sort of really accurate to the Takara Tommy one with the slopes and everything. But um, now we're going to be doing is just moving on to our last bait, which is my favorite one out of all of them, which is... Now we're on to our last bait from this wave, which is my favorite, Surge Excalius. <sighs> wow. So this is honestly my favorite one. I, I, I love like, I love Excalibur, or is it for Jim Hasbro's Excalius. Super good attack type bait, really powerful. And just to show off the back real quick. So the gimmick with this is that switch strike gimmick, I should say, is that for the lair, it has like this metal sword on it. So when it attacks, like the metal sword hits, and it's almost it's almost always a guaranteed instant burst. And you also got the metal tip, which is iron, and then after you got one for uh, the disc. So attacks out at a full eleven, I'd expect that. Burst is at a four. Agility is two. Weight is eight. Zero stamina. Zero defense. Really excited to show this off. So now we have the bay rights here. We have the Takara Tommy one. So as it clears up. Yeah, so um it almost covers all the parts where there'd be stickers. Actually no, it doesn't. It's missing this part here and this part that left gold. Which um I, I mostly just nitpick because I don't really care too much. If if it's really significant, like in the original like uh, burst wave, like I'll say, you know, it's it's really not that good. This is uh, exceptional, I guess. Uh, the god chip looks nice. It is missing the pattern of the yellow, yellow stuff around it. But uh, it goes it for the layers. So now comparing the other parts of the Takaratomi counterpart. The one, exactly the same. Iron, just not transparent. But yeah. So I'm gonna get this assembled. So honestly, really good switch strike wave. And even if maybe you don't think the base appearance is, um, maybe you don't like it's not 100% accurate, I think uh, this wave is really <laughs> worth getting just um, for how good these bays are. And also for the Fafnir especially, like how cool the lair is. It's really awesome. Definitely recommend it if you're able to find it. But uh, that pretty much goes for now. So what we're gonna be doing now is, um, I guess we'll probably just do a test launch. Can we be doing our test launch. First day I'll be showing off is the Fafnir F3. Stamina type. Uh, 3, 2, 1, let it rip. Uh, I'm not really too sure about the combo for the actual bay. I do still think at least the Fafnir is worth getting for the really nice lair. Uh, nothing really much else to say. Let's stop this bay. Looks really nice. Move on to our next bay. Let's I'm gonna switch this. All the way. Switch it. We'll do Genius J3. 3, 2, 1, later rip. So my theory on why it races up faster, because as you heard from the New York Toy Fair, the decisions that they make, it's based on what they feel is best for their audience. So maybe they thought um, it'd be better if they tried to make Genius J3 or Blast Genius Shield raise up a little bit faster. Maybe for it just to be a better defense type, maybe for it to burst the base faster. That's just my guess. Because most of the time, it's like a specific decision to why they do something. I still think it'll probably perform good. I don't know if it'll be better than the Takara Tommy. We'll have like a separate video of the base battling against them. But uh, now, we'll do Maximum Garuda. 3, 2, 1, let it rip. Garuda's in the best environment, right? Because Takara Tommy had like a slope for instead of really teeth. Now, with the Hasbro, they all have slopes. So now it's like, it's paired up with all its little Hasbro friends. So... Yeah, nothing really too crazy with this one. The best part is, we're gonna get like um, an Excalia set that's gonna come with like its own sword launcher, and I'm actually excited for that. But for now, we have this in three, two, one, and a rip. Easy there. Yeah, I love all the bays in this wave. So I'm gonna stop it. So these were all the bays, and what I figured I'd just do now, because I'm pretty sure we had a video showcasing it, we're going to show our, all the QR codes. Here are all the QR codes. Pause the video right now to scan them. You got uh, Garuda G3, 
Uh, you got Fafnir, you got the Genius, you got uh, Excalius, Scanner Rights right, so Now, pause the video, and yeah. So, so um, I figured also just to get rid of it also, since we'll just do it all in one video, we're gonna make all these base battle against each other. So a couple of battles, maybe do two, three rounds each, not to keep it too long of a video. And yeah, we'll get started. All right, so we're doing Fafnir versus all of them. First opponent will be a Grota G3. Three, two, one, let it rip. All right, so uh, I guess we're go up to three points. Yeah, so the Fafnir is absorbing me, but Garuda is going to tank it all. Yeah. I'm doing good. First point goes to me, one to nothing, survivor finish. Three, two, one, let it rip. Yeah, for Garuda, it's going to be a little bit slow, but uh, hopefully with the other ones, I'll pick up. Yeah, can't really even absorb me. Still not too sure on that Fafnir combo. Oh, maybe? No. Alrighty, did nothing, survivor finish. Three, two... Three, two, one, let it rip. Give it a good hit at this start, so let's see how it goes. I'm gonna save the uh, Surge Excalius for last, cause, cause I know it's gonna be a monster. I think maybe Genius will be maybe easier to burst. Let's we'll see how it works. And Garuda wins that one. So now our next opponent will be Genius. All right, so for the next battle, like I said, the next opponent is going to be Blast Genius. It's opponent, and it's, I guess, competitor would be uh, Serge Excalius. We'll see how it goes. Um, again, up to three points. So, three, two, one, let it rip. Oh, the shield's already up. No, no. Serge Excalius is going to be super good. I'm having a few good hits. Oh, is it gonna burst it? Doesn't. Alrighty, zero to one, survivor finish. Three, two, one, let him rip. Oh, almost knocked it out. And the shield's up. I bursted it, nice. Two to one, next round. Three, two, one, let him rip. Yeah, I know. Shield's already up, I'm gonna win. Surge Excalius! Oh. It's two all! Alright, let's break the tie. Three, two, one, then. Alright, well, you see, I made fun of this bait, and you make fun of it, it, it destroyed me. He's like a little blast tornado at me. So our winner for that is Blast uh, Genius, but we don't just end it there. We're gonna do another round. All right, three, two, one, let it rip. All right, this time I got hope. Surge Excalius. All right, come on. It's going around. Hit it. There we go! Burst finish! So I guess I was right. I mean, then again, it is Excalia, so we have to see uh, when we do it against all of them eventually. But I do think that uh, Genius is a little bit more burstable. This is sort of just like a little preview battles, because we're going to do a lot more with uh, these bays in the very near, near future. So that does it for this video. I really like this wave. Um, hopefully for the upcoming waves. Um, I don't really know, actually. <laughs> Uh, I guess maybe a little bit more closer with the stickers. That's my only really criticism for these Switch Strike Bays. I do think maybe the performance might be a little bit better than the Takara Tommy one. We will see how they actually do in battle, because sometimes Bays for like Takara Tommy, maybe they weren't that good. Hazard maybe changes the part, or maybe changes like the gimmick to make it a little bit different. And then after the Bays are a little bit better, not saying that they will or they won't, but uh, we'll see eventually when we do battles. Uh, regardless, Hit that like button, show your support, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you already are subscribed, make sure you hit that bell to notify for uploads. And as always, have an awesome first full day.